So the Daily Mail, which is a British tabloid website that is about 50% sensationalist propaganda and misinformation and 50% advertisements, they published an article on April 22nd about Joe Biden's climate plan, and they falsely claim that Joe Biden's plan could limit you to eat just one burger per month. Now, anyone who sees this title immediately, your red flags should be up. Your bullshit detector should be beeping constantly because... You know, at a minimum, you should be thinking maybe they're being a little bit hyperbolic, but at most, you should be thinking, are they just outright fabricating this? Because even if I don't like Tucker Carlson, for example, if I saw a headline that said Tucker Carlson shits pants on national television, then proceeds to fling feces at camera, I would think, wow, that's that's certainly believable. And since I dislike Tucker Carlson, it would be convenient for me to believe this news because then I would make a video about it and make fun of him. But I would think mm, I need to know at least a little bit more. I probably should look into this a little bit more. Conservatives, however, even if that headline was a little bit out there, they fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Now, the provision in Joe Biden's climate plan that the article was referring to wasn't a provision within Joe Biden's climate plan at all. In fact, that provision was an unrelated study published by the University of Michigan Back in 2020, and as Yahoo News explains, according to the authors, the study analyzes hypothetical reduction in the consumption of animal-based foods in the U.S. diet and relies on a number of simplifying assumptions. It is not a policy proposal or suggestion. So the study was unrelated to Joe Biden's climate plan. However, the Daily Mail reported that what they said is actually part of Joe Biden's climate plan. But, I mean, that's all that conservatives need. They read the headline and they thought, oh my god, this is terrible. So, predictably, conservatives fell for misinformation. And the largest conservative news outlet, which should, you know, in theory, be fact-checking things like this, they fell for it and they reported that the study that was misidentified as part of Joe Biden's provision by the Daily Mail, the study actually referenced Joe Biden's climate plan and the study is what's suggesting that most people wouldn't be able to eat meat or just would be able to eat like one burger per month under Joe Biden. Um, it's it's sad, but it's entirely predictable, you know, given the state of uh, Fox News and conservative media. Take a look at their coverage of this. Speaking of stupid, there's a study coming out of the University of Michigan which says that to meet the Biden Green New Deal targets, America has to get this. America has to stop eating meat, Stop eating poultry, fish, seafood, eggs, dairy, and animal-based fats. Okay, we got that? No burgers on July 4th. No steaks on the Barbie. I'm sure middle America is just going to love that. Can you grill those Brussels sprouts? So get ready. You can throw back a plant-based beer with your grilled Brussels sprouts and wave your American flag. Call it July 4th Green. Now, I'm making fun of this because I intend to make fun of it. This kind of thinking is stupid. Say goodbye to your burgers if you want to sign up for the Biden climate agenda. That's the finding of one study. In order to help hit the Biden administration's climate goals of reducing emissions by 50% from 2005 by 2030, researchers say you'd have to cut about 90% of red meat from your diet. For Americans, that means a limit of four pounds of red meat per year, or break that down further, a single average sized burger every month. Let's tuck in some more here. Larry Kudlow joins us now. I can hear the refrain from <laughs> Clara Peller from the grave. Larry going, where's the beef? <laughs> where's the beef? I don't even eat beef, okay? Oh. I mean, I eat chicken and I eat fish. Maybe once a year I eat beef. But the study may be right, but it's the stupidest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> this comes from these ideological global warming zealots who don't understand the havoc and damage they're going to wreak on this country and maybe the rest of the world. Or maybe they do get it and they don't care. And you ask yourself, for what, okay? Do you like red meat occasionally? Like to have a steak, a burger? grill or barbecue on Memorial Day, the 4th of July, or for no reason at all. Not so fast. The left with their Green New Deal wants to make sure you don't. They were freaking out about this, shrieking hysterically at the top of their lungs all weekend. And this wasn't in the videos that we saw. 
But can we just appreciate this? Bye bye, burgers. This is a news organization. They couldn't even read beyond the headline. This is a multi million, probably multi billion dollar enterprise. And they couldn't even distribute one or two fact checkers to just look into this a little bit more. Nobody at Fox News thought, hmm, this seems a little bit hyperbolic and maybe not factual. Maybe we'll just dig a little bit deeper into this. Not a single person at Fox News did that. And all weekend, they freaked out about this. Running segments with a Chiron that says, bye bye, burgers. I would say unreal, but it really is like, this is exactly what you'd expect from Fox News. And once they freaked out about this, um, since they are a trusted news network among American conservatives, American conservatives then proceeded to freak out about this. Lauren Boebert tweeted out, Joe Biden's climate plan includes cutting 90% of red meat from our diets by 2030. They want to limit us to about four pounds a year. Why doesn't Joe stay out of my kitchen? Marjorie Taylor Greene posted a picture of Biden with a hamburger in order to hypocrisy burn him and added, the hamburglar, no burgers for thee, but just for me. Ooh, you got him, Marjorie. Good job. Texas Governor Greg Abbott shared a screenshot of Fox News' lies and then stated, not gonna happen in Texas. So the entire right in America spent the whole weekend freaking out, trying to burn Joe Biden for supposedly including a ban of sorts uh, on red meat in his climate proposal when that's not actually the case. And then on Monday, uh, Fox News finally issued a correction. On Friday, we told you about a study from the University of Michigan to give some perspective on President Biden's ambitious climate change goals. That research from 2020 found that cutting back how much red meat people eat would have a drastic impact on harmful greenhouse gas emissions. The data was accurate, but a graphic and a script incorrectly implied that it was part of Biden's plan for dealing with climate change. That is not the case. Well, how responsible of them. Oops. Did our multi-billion dollar news agency uh, run with a headline all weekend from a British tabloid? We're sorry. I know that the damage has already been done, and now millions and millions of people think that Biden's climate plan wants to ban red meat. But uh, oops, we're sorry. We corrected it. Don't attack us for it. Don't expect us to be more responsible as a news organization. Now, if anyone is going to talk about Joe Biden's climate change proposal, it should be that it doesn't go far enough. But what Fox News wants to do is they want you to believe that it goes too far. He's giving in to all of the demands of the socialist radical left in America, when in actuality, that's not happening. He should be giving in to their demands because regardless of what's politically possible at this time, I mean, the climate doesn't care about political barriers and obstacles and the political context, what needs to be done needs to be done. And there is truth in that study and that we do need to reduce our consumption of red meat. And so what they tried to do, though, is basically further solidify this narrative that Joe Biden is an extremist. He's a radical leftist himself, which is laughable. And um, yeah, he is going so far as to even control what we eat as Americans. It's just, they're so willing to you know sell this narrative that they will take anything look how easily they're duped by misinformation if this got them then what else could they be duped by you know you 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 know you know the you know the thing, thing. you're getting nervous man, man. 